One of the things that we seek to address has to do with formation of character. And as you are aware, our faith and our cultures have a heavy influence in forming and shaping our character. And that's why we are promoting activities using intercultural, interreligious methods of addressing character because we want to be able to change and be able to form young people whose minds are informed by the correct cultural values, but also correct religious values and narratives. So one of the things we are doing right now is to generate narratives, religious narratives, theologically sound narratives, because those are the ones we've established are influencing the young people who are being radicalized because they are being fed with ideology and narratives that are not religiously sound. So an activity is organized around that and the dialogues are also organized around that. The other thing we are doing is we're doing research because we need to inform whatever we are doing. Because you can advocate for something without a sound basis. So we are doing carrying out research. We are also developing case studies around the same themes so that we are able to support but also generate new knowledge about what is happening around the area of terrorism but also radicalization of young people. Now, there are other activities that are being done by, carried out by the sub-grantees that KMYA will talk about. But the key thing for us is to support activities and support organizations <coughs> that are promoting peaceful coexistence, that are supporting interreligious activities and dialogues. And these dialogues take on, take on different forms. For example, in Zanzibar, they have activities that are focusing on discussions and open safe spaces, for example, for women to raise issues to do with the gender dimensions of terrorism. And in Zanzibar, those safe spaces are very important because the training and the culture does not permit women's issues, girls' issues to be raised in certain public spaces. So that activity is unique to Zanzibar because of the cultural makeup of that country. It will be different, for example, from what KMIA is doing because of the setup and the context of the Kenya Muslim Youth Alliance. So those are the major activities we are looking at. And we're also looking at using the social media, what we are doing right now, to communicate, create awareness, but share knowledge, share information.